Hi guys, it's me, Teresa Perrin. I want to discuss FUBO with you because they have earnings on Friday and I do believe there's an excellent opportunity here as it's very heavily beat down and last time this happened and they had earnings, it almost doubled in price. So I do want to go over this um, today with you and discuss the increase in institutional and insider ownership. Combined guys, they own over 93% of FUBO, which is absolutely insane. Consider this is considering this is a very heavily uh, retail owned stock as well. So I do believe the short interest is probably much higher than what I'm gonna report to you, but we're gonna stick to the facts here and I'll leave speculation up to you. Uh, let's get started. Please remember nothing I say is financial advice and always do your own details. Okay guys, Fubo is known for being brought down prior to earnings and it's no surprise today that's exactly what they did. It was down 3% on the day and closed at $3.55. After hours, it is up 5 cents to $3.60 at time of recording. And guys, the 52 week low in the stock is $2.31 and the 52 week high is $35.10. The average volume has been 16.79 million shares. And as you can see today, it was only about half of that that was traded at 9.89 million. Oftentimes you'll see um, that when the volume dries up and gets low, that happens right before we get a boom, which I obviously expect um, on you know, earnings on Friday morning. Uh, potentially this could run on Thursday or even tomorrow with the FOMC, depending on what we get. But I do want to bring it to your attention now so that it's on your radar. So Fubo right now, um, it's been going down guys. So right now technical analysis is showing short term. It's a sell, um, strong bearish signal, but medium term it's showing a rise. Um, long term, it's been going down, so it's still showing that downward arrow. Guys, I do believe as soon as that price moves up, we're going to start seeing this move to more of a bullish signal. And I do believe that will come with earnings or right up leading to. Um, it is currently giving a 50% hold rating um, by analysts. There are eight analysts who ranked this, um, and the price target is between $5 and $8 for an average of $6.20. As you can see, it's currently trading even below the average. I highly recommend you do take a look at the five um, month chart because I think you'll be quite, or not five months, I'm sorry, the one year chart because I think you'll be quite. Um, intrigued by what it does at earnings, especially this last one. So even if you went back and looked at the last four months, when you see that spike, that is the last earnings. And I know because I had options on it that did fantastic. Now, Fubo short interest currently is 24.94% and it would take 4.27 days to cover. Guys, that's crazy. I think this is probably the highest I've seen it. There's still 1,600,000 shares available to short and the price to borrow is very cheap between 4.67 and 5%. Um, the dark pool volume, the short volume ratio in the dark pool has been between 45.85 and 59.32%. And today was 55.98%. Now, as you can see, they are managing the failure to deliver. That's not even an issue right now, especially with all of the shares that are available to borrow. Now, here's where things get interesting, guys, because this has definitely increased. There's 377 total institutions that own FUBO. 351 of those are long, like only long. Eight of them are only short, and 18 have a combined long-short position. I find that incredibly interesting, especially considering that makes up 44.93% of all shares. Now, if you look at the insider ownership, that's 48.38% of all shares. Just so you know, there's 185.295 million shares outstanding. So, you know, this isn't a small company, guys. This is very large. But I do believe that with earnings coming up and the increase in institutional ownership, as you can see, it just keeps increasing, that we're going to see this price action increase. They are building their positions. Shorts are exiting um, because before there was a much higher um, amount of insiders that were short than there currently are, guys. And I do believe that this Friday um, before market open is when we get earnings. I do believe leading up to that or that day, 
because their earnings have been fantastic with increased subscribers and everything else. And being that it's sports season, um, I do expect the same thing this quarter. So I think that uh, there's a huge opportunity that this could have a short squeeze. So keep it on your radar, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have an excellent day. If you could like the video for me and share it so that other people are, are aware or leave a comment below if this was helpful. Thanks so much.